Outer West is a really cool sci-fi where we have two scenes. We have one scene that takes place inside of a space train that operates kind of like a maglev. And then we also have a second scene that takes place in a dingy saloon. Think of like the Star Wars cantina. We have two characters who are playing chess in that saloon and they're talking about how they're going to essentially be killed by a world order called Alpha Bay. And we have two officers who are on the train in Alpha Bay. And we get to kind of explore that world and show off the LED wall here at Chapman. I'm Jesse, I'm the LED wall uh, supervisor for uh, Outer West here. We use Unreal Engine to basically create the 3D world and then send that onto the wall uh, to create that 3D dimensionality. Um, and then we're using Disguise that's basically a software that's controlling everything, bringing everything together. We have a tracking system that tracks the location of the camera by using all these star sensors in the ceiling uh, to triangulate its position in space. So it's really cool to be messing with. What's up? I'm the gaffer. Sometimes I turn on some lights. Sometimes I plug stuff in if I'm lucky. You know, and uh, make stuff look pretty. Um, but yeah, so it's it's really cool because um, with lighting, you're able to affect how the audience feels about a character, um, and so you're able to kind of represent how different characters are in this story. So. First of all, it's a great opportunity that we're able to do this, but um, I think that it's a very powerful tool, especially for creating, um, in our case, something that's sci-fi that's larger than life, that you're able to kind of create a higher sense of an environment and a more incredibly like vast environment, so yeah. My name is Maddie Harris and I'm one of the two producers on Outer West. Basically producers um, make sure that the director's vision is carried out from inception to completion. So we're in charge of making sure that the director has everything that they need and that all that we oversee all departments, make sure every department has what they need within um, the, the schedule and the budget. So we also handle all of the time and money concerns for the project and make sure that everything goes smoothly and help people wherever they need help. So. We're on Outer West right now, and I'm the DP. Basically, my job is uh, everything visual, so everything that uh, that happens with framing, and then we have kind of the gaffer, which is also I work in tandem with, who is in charge of lighting the scene, making it look good. Um, it's a lot of work, but honestly, since everything is done in pre-production, um, honestly, it's pretty fun. It's pretty chill on set. Uh, I'm really just working around uh, lighting, to be honest. I'm just doing uh, gaffing operating, um, and I'm having Jesse operate the wall. It's been running pretty smoothly because um, we checked everything during tech viz um, yesterday for the past 12 hours. <laughs> Made sure everything works, and all the maps and everything are ready since pre-production two or three months ago. So we've been pretty set, it's been pretty chill. It's awesome. I love it. I'll say virtual production as a whole is both a lot easier and a lot harder at the same time than shooting on a practical location. Because the benefit of it is that you don't have to deal with location managers, you don't have to deal with all the permitting processes, you don't have to deal with having people walking around your set, parties nearby, like shooting on a sound stage is always going to be easier in that field. But shooting with an LED wall adds a significant amount of problems that you have to consider. One of which immediately is that there's something called moiré. You need to have a camera that's powerful enough to mitigate moiré and also you have to have a skilled enough crew to be able to see it when it happens. So we've actually been able to avoid it one or two times uh, we were able to catch that moiré was happening in our film. 
Another thing as well is that uh, with virtual production like this, you have to completely plan out all the environments that are on the wall before you start shooting, which means that you need to have all of your pre-production that you normally have three weeks before on location, three months before a production like this. So it's a lot more work up front, but it makes it a lot more rewarding when you're on set the day of, and it makes for a really pretty shoot. I think incorporating the LED wall means more collaboration with more people. I have to be on the same page with the VFX artists and all of my art team. Definitely helps that we have a background. Especially working with this, it comes with a lot of creativity, but at the same time a lot of like uh, uh, things that you were not able to do. For example, this wall, because it's, it's, it's a surface instead of a curve, that means every time we want to do a shot reverse shot, we need to move the entire set to one side and to the other side so we can get the background consistent. on Outer West set and basically I keep everyone on time to the second and um, I have safety plans, make sure everyone is safe on set, uh, handle the walkies, so much fun, looks professional and yeah, just make sure everyone's having a good time and just keep on the positive energy. Cut? Let's cut! Camera cuts. <laughs>